Now, I'm pretty sure this is not the very first video you've watched about product research. You've probably watched dozens of other videos, and I'm pretty sure you've also seen a lot of people talking about different tools, different methods, and different ways of doing product research, which all cost... If you're a complete beginner to Amazon and simply don't know how to find your first product, be sure to stay tuned until the end of this video because I am going to be blowing your mind. Also, be sure to consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell as I drop brand new videos every single week about Amazon FBA. Now, one of our students was able to scale his very first product to over $1,000 per day only two weeks after launching. If you'd like to learn how to do the same, be sure to stay tuned until the end of this video for a very special announcement. Now, I'm pretty sure this is not the very first video you've watched about product research. You've probably watched dozens of other videos, and I'm pretty sure you've also seen a lot of people talking about different tools, different methods, and different ways of doing product research, which all cost a, you know, a boatload of money, number one, and number two, they're just kind of confusing and kind of contradict each other. But the one thing that many people don't really realize is that Amazon, which is the best tool that's available for you and the most free tool because it's completely free, it's available for you that you can use it to find the best products out there. Now you see one thing that many people don't understand is that 53% of all online shopping happens on Amazon. So people automatically go to Amazon to purchase products and it is a trusted site. The cool thing is that actually Amazon shares with you all this data and all this information that you could actually utilize in your product research uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, venture and product research and finding the products that you really want to launch on Amazon. And then from there, you utilize their own data to really finding the right products for you. Now, before getting into too much details about the actual method, which I'm going to be showing you guys on my screen, I just wanted to share that last week's uh, winner was Cindy Phillips, who won our free um, kind of startup, you know, uh, starter kit to launching on Amazon. And if you like to be part of that giveaway, all you have to do is comment in the comment sections, BJKU. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into my screen so I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So let's say you're on Amazon and you search, you know, iPhone cover cases. Obviously, you know, regularly what everyone is telling you is that you need to look at the top sellers and then look at kind of what it is that they're selling, differentiate yourself, you know, add reviews, you know, m make sure that, you know, th these, these, uh, these competitors have this review to this review, have this many sales, and kind of, you know, from there, take it, go put it in Jungle Scouts or Helium 10 or whatever other tools that everyone else is telling you. And kind of, honestly, that's one method that I personally utilize, right? But you got to understand if everyone is utilizing the same exact method, well, how exactly is it that you're going to find unique products, you know? So you have to kind of start thinking outside of the box. So what I do is instead of putting information inside of these tools and have these tools tell me what kind of products to be looking at, I actually go to the main source, which is Amazon itself. And then what I do is, let's say, I start thinking of products that I might feel like they could be a seller. Perhaps I have been utilizing the other traditional methods defining these products. And then I go and put these uh, keywords in Amazon, right? I'm not saying that this, this, this cover case is a great you know, product. It's actually terrible. But when you click on this, um, when you click on a listing, obviously it tells you all the information about the listing, description, all that stuff. Well, there's a little cool thing that many people disregard, which is called, if you scroll down just a little bit, and it's going to tell you, let's see here. Okay, so this is not showing. Okay, so frequently bought together. Right? So this is a great strategy for a few things. Number one, to find brand new products, but number one, to, uh, I mean, number two, to really differentiate your current product and to make it unique so that way you know for sure that this is a product that people are going to buy and not just throwing a whole bunch of things in a cart. And number two is that, you know, you can charge higher for that product, right? So as you can see here, it is telling you that usually people who buy this also by this. And honestly, I talk about this a lot in my videos and I say, you know, whenever I, I say, you know, I, I try to create a bundle and I say, I mentioned the iPhone cover case, I also mention a protector, right? So it just kind of makes sense. They go together, right? Now, one thing you do have to be wary of is that the frequently bought together very possibly could be the same person or the same seller selling the main product also sells this. And that's why sometimes these uh, products show up, right? Uh, so that's why sometimes you'll look at this frequently bought together thing and it'll tell you like, 
completely random products because this brand or this store is not selling in niches. They're just kind of selling whatever sells, whatever makes money, which really you should be also looking into that when you first launch your Amazon career. But often, more often than not, the frequently bought together can actually give you great ideas, right? So number one, what this is going to do is it's going to give you new ideas. Number two, no products if you are selling within a niche. Let's say you are selling an iPhone cover case and then you want to build a brand based on that uh, product or that niche, this is gonna give you obviously no, you know, like if you were to just launch it by itself, you could definitely launch just the iPhone cover case uh, or the screen protector, you know, should it be a different niche, it probably would make sense to sell it by itself. But just selling the iPhone, you know, uh, screen protector by itself, you need to be selling thousands of units per month to make some type of a profit because I'm assuming the, net, the margins are going to be very low, right? But then three and most importantly is creating bundles, right? Having a bundle that you can differentiate, having a differentiator, and that way you can stand out in the marketplace. Because if you go to, you know, iPhone cover case, everyone is selling just the cover case, right? But if you are the new person, the new, um, you know, offering something new, um, you know, creating a differentiation, that's going to make you stand out in the marketplace and that gives you an edge over everyone else so that way you can actually have a chance at competing and beating all of your competition. Hope that you guys found value in this video. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also comment in the comment section, let me know what other videos you'd like to see from my channel as I love hearing from you guys in the comment section. Outside of that, if you guys are really, you know, curious about this Amazon thing and you're like, you know, I love it, it sounds great, or maybe you've been trying to sell on Amazon, just haven't exactly been able to, you know, launch your career successful and you want someone who's done it, walk you through it. What I've done is that I have set apart a few spots on our calendar or my team's calendar where we'll jump on a call, really kind of understand where you are, answer your questions and see if working together is a great fit. There's also a short video that you can watch. It's kind of a case study that'll break down to you more of exactly what do we do, how we do it. If you are interested in finding out more about that, first look in the description will take you to that. Go ahead and check it out and let's see how we can help each other out. Outside of that, guys, Bashar Katu here. Thank you very much for tuning in. I think on this side or on that side, I believe it's more on this side, there's going to be a couple other videos that we found that might help you out as well since you are interested in this topic. Outside of that, I'll see you in the next video. Have yourselves a great day. Take care.